guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name's Carrie, and this is our 2006 Ford F-250. Uh, it is the six liter power stroke. So today we're gonna be talking about the intercooler that we installed, and I apologize if I go too fast or ramble on too much. I've literally recorded this video 20 times today. Uh, <laughs> first half of it was at a different location. One of my favorite spots to record, but I come home and I watch the video and I wasn't happy with it. So now we're recording it in the driveway, so I do apologize if you hear the dogs bark in the background. But anyways, let's go ahead and jump into it. So for those of you new here, as I said, this is our 2006 six liter power stroke. It is an AF250. The truck is modified and it currently has about 134,000 miles on it. Just, just a hair over. Pretty low miles for this year truck. They're really hard to find with that low miles. Me and Devin were blessed and found ours in 2017 with only 69,000 miles on it. It is bulletproofed and it has an EGR delete along with countless other, other upgrades. But I'm not going to get into that because that's just a long list. But I do have a list here on youtube of a build list devin going through showing you everything that he's done or had done minus a few pieces that we've added since then so i will leave that link down in the description below i will also leave the installation of this turbo genetics intercooler in the description below if you're interested on that and it really shows how massive this intercooler is i uh, i can show you in the truck and that's why i've got the hood popped but you can't see that much of it you can't really see how massive the thing is so i did buy the intercooler from rudy's diesel performance uh, in burlington north carolina great company we purchased it i want to say it was around 1200 dollars uh, after tax it's not too bad compared to the other things we weighed between the turbonetics and the mishimoto ended up going with the turbonetics as an upgraded one so the biggest reason we upgraded the intercooler was because the truck was blowing boots left and right. The intercooler itself had some oil in it from some blow by that the truck had, and it was just getting in the piping and in the boots and just causing the boots to pop. And it was a pain in our butt to have to, especially for me, before we had the truck on a two inch level and now it's on a six inch lift, but I'm 5'3", I can barely see in the windows now. I'd have to stand on the bumper in the holes by the license plate i would stand there and then stand on the bumper and lean over to the turbo to change it and it just wasn't fun especially on top of a hot engine because normally it didn't happen just when the truck started you'd have to be driving it and put some decent pedal to the metal and get some psi up there and it wasn't ridiculous like 10 pounds uh could possibly blow it if you held it too long uh so it kind of sucked so that was the biggest reason we did it but Devin's in love with it. The only issue he has is not really with the intercooler itself. But let me walk over to the truck and we'll show you that. So Devin's issue is how massive this intercooler is, which you can kind of see it back through here. Uh, you can see how close it is down here to the radiator. Um, for his driving, and let me let me explain the best way anybody's ever put to me how Devin drives. He knows two speeds, dead stop and wide open, and that's it. So De Devin drives this truck like his supercharged Mustang. Kid you not, that's how he drives. He's not gonna, if somebody pisses him off, he's getting around their ass, and if they wanna come and play and ride on his tail, he's gonna show him, them who's boss and he's going to move. Be like, no. We're not going to play that. Um, so the temperatures for him during the summertime here in North Carolina, when we get 90, 95 degrees, he's running like 220, 230, uh, which is too hot. And he doesn't like that. He'll ease out of it and let it cool back down. But for an everyday driver, for like me and you probably, it's not an issue. I drove it while I was in Idaho at the beginning of August for a whole week. I ran through three tanks of diesel while he was gone. I never saw the truck get over 200 for the coolant tips. So it's not a big issue to me. It is to Devin and it's his daily driver. And you know, let's just go ahead and replace it, make him happy. So he's watching some forums right now, trying to find the best fit for the truck. So we will have a video coming on that later. That's one of the last pieces, but it's starting to cool off for winter time, so he's got some time to do some research and make sure that he gets the right thing for the truck, because Devin's very much a one-and-done man. He doesn't like to do things more than once if he doesn't have to. Um, he's made the mistake of taking some people's advice before, and he's had to go back in the truck, and he just doesn't want to do that. 
So the Turbonetics does allow, it pulls the intake air down, the uh, temperature down pretty substantially. I want to say it dropped it probably about 20 degrees, which was great. Very helpful. Holding that boost, at, he, you can drive it and hit 30 pounds of boost and hold it for a minute and the boots hasn't popped. Boots have not popped. And which that's amazing for me, especially now that I'm pregnant and I can't necessarily get up on the truck that easy and leaning over it is not easy for me either. Um, it helps me out a lot to not have to worry about that and it gives Devin that peace of mind too when I drive his truck. Well, our truck, his truck. De you know what I got, but anyways. So he's happy with it overall. If you're having the the boot problem anyways, get a new intercooler. I don't know, the upgraded isn't probably gonna make the difference. It's probably mostly the oil in that intercooler. But dang, if the turbo nuggets hasn't performed, I can't tell you the exact horsepower numbers it's delivered because I don't know. We haven't been able to put it on a dyno, but it's made a difference. Devin loves it. It gives the truck the extra pep in its step that it needs. So hopefully that helped you guys out a little bit. If you have any certain questions about a certain detail on it, let me know. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you all haven't already. And you all hustle harder.